it a deal. If I um, if I nod off, would you just kick me, Lisa? <laughs> I, I should explain. I came to New Zealand three days ago, um, so it's midnight is midday, if you see what I mean. So now, now about midnight. So there we are. Anyway, it's like this paint, isn't it? Paint, paint, paint. Uh, I should have been having a pint about seven hours ago. Come on, we'll just but Five o'clock's a good time for me to have a pint. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to ask how long you'd spend the concert, but thanks for being there. Three days. Yeah, now we got here every day Sunday. Yeah. And um, I've, um, I've got a six month year old, six month old baby. And uh, it's very different to make the baby do. It's now the day is nice and night is day. <laughs> so on top of the jet lag, I've got a baby that's waking up at midnight, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, and then by the time he gets five o'clock, he just wants to play. <laughs> I mean, you give up, you just get up, you know. So, um, yeah. So, yes, Liz, uh, you, <laughs> did you just, just catch <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm allergic. I, I get pushed to get the two of you on stage together because I believe you've known each other for many years. Oh, very long time. Can, can I ask how long? It's, 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 I was even born. <laughs> we worked at, we both worked together at the Salisbury Playhouse, uh, which is a, a, a rather, actually a very thriving regional yeah. theatre, down in Wiltshire, and um, we, we were in the studio theatre doing um, an adaptation of a book called The Shepherd's Life, where we played about 78 different characters and played lots of musicals. Very tiring. Yeah, very tiring. Need more tiring. Played, uh, especially for Mark, because he played uh, a character called Oswald in Ghost by Ibsen. Especially serious people were. And did a very, very long play, right? which I would not recommend you go and see. <laughs> um, and it's a tour de force part for a young male actor, and he dies of hereditary syphilis in the last act. <laughs> um, it takes 25 minutes to do it. It is, it is a nightmare part, because even if you start at 7.30, you're unlikely to get a drink in the bar at the end, because it goes on so ruddy long this time. <laughs> And um, on one particular night, a gentleman died in the front row <laughs> um, in, in the last act. And I'd been going 15 minutes. I mean, I was, I'd already wet myself. I was dying, right? And I only had five minutes to go, ten minutes to go. And I had to sort of stop and say, I'm really sorry, something's been very ill. I mean, I'm usually very ill, it's kind of went, ah! <laughs> and, and collapsed. And, and so they, they, they asked the, I said, we're going to have to drop in a bar, and so we stopped the transmit, by the time it's already five past eleven or something, and they asked the audience what they wanted to do. Did they want to continue from where we stopped, or did they want to start the act again? And the buzzers wanted me to start the act again! <laughs> it was like ten like to midnight by the time I got out of there. <laughs> The, the other funny story that happened on that was, um, Lisa, the, the, very, the very important part in the play is the maid, uh, and that's what Lisa was playing, and I'm supposed to fancy her, frankly. And so she goes off stage, and also has this nice look, and he goes, look at the way she moves. Right? It's like lusting after her, and she, up, 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 she goes off. But unfortunately, um, this was fine for a, a few nights, but then Lisa decided she was going to go riding in the day in the new forest. And she fell off the horse. Mm. And she had a neck brace on and a limb. <laughs> <laughs> no, she managed to take the neck brace off for the show, but she couldn't move. Her neck. <laughs> right, and, 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 and so I, I had to look at this thing and so she, <laughs> look at the way she moved. <laughs> I think she was about to pick up a chair at the same time. It wasn't a very good maneuver. In fact, it, the irony was that, is that um, I, I actually almost put me off riding for life, and I, I, I lagged my well in the Doctor Who job, which I did, I needed to ride, and after that accident in Salisbury, I, I, I didn't really want to ride again, and in fact, it, when I went to the interview for Survival really years ago, and uh, the, Alan, the director, said, you know, can you ride? I went, yes, yes, fine, 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 and um, I was driving home thinking, what on earth? Have I said, I just had these terrible memories of this horse bolting underneath me, and I actually rang the director of the evening, I said, you know, when I said I could ride. I mean, I can ride, but I, I had this accident. And, you know. and he said, what do you mean? I was going to give you the job. So um, I went off and went to the, the stables where they got all the horses from. And of course, the horses there and the horses in the New Forest are slightly different. 
And I draw all my rainbows up with a film star. That's a bigger star than, uh, than any of us, really. <laughs> so I was, I was uh, somewhat really... Don't worry, you remember King Demons when we had horses. Uh, oh, yes. We had Jasper, right? And there was a fantastic horse called Jasper, right? And Jasper was the main horse these guys used, the professionals, you know, who did this jousting. But Jasper was just a, such a huge character. He wouldn't, he didn't like doing more than one take. <laughs> and, and, he, and he knew where the camera was. So he'd go down like this and he'd look at the camera as he went by. <laughs> <laughs> thing is the one I had, uh, JNT was directing sort of the second unit on the one that I think, and we did this tracking shot and the horse was going... <laughs> 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 they are terrible! Yeah. That's yeah. prima donna. But if you don't get, you see, now then the other thing was, we were, the, 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 the one where Janet was the May Queen, what was that one called? The Awakening. Oh. The Awakening. Yeah, the, the Awakening, yeah. In that, when she's drawn, when, when she's pulled by horse and cart to, to, to the lich gate in front of the church, right? It's covered in, covered in flowers, right? And they didn't get professional, they got professional horses, they got horses from the local riding stables, right? Now, if you know anything about riding stable horses, they follow each other. So they put one of the horses on, on the car, which was put in jack. And, the, and the, of course that, that stopped outside the church. The other horses went under the lich gate, and then the horse pulling the cart decided, well, I'm going to go where the other horses went, <laughs> and pulled the cart they Janet through and completely destroyed the pet. <laughs> um, so, yeah, horses, yeah. Yes, yes. Never work with animals, and look what I've ended up doing. I've made animal films. <laughs> <laughs> he was just saying, you didn't need me. <laughs> 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 but how much have got horse coming on later? So then, if you could, uh, she's got to have on his own. The horse. Yeah. <laughs> I put it at the end. Of the when was the last time you worked together? He said, knowing the answer to this question. It was but yesterday. Uh, uh, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark, uh, we grabbed with uh, we, a big finish. Grabbed with uh, every hand they could uh, manage because uh, we uh, you did two companion chronicles on two days. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I directed one yesterday called Freak Show by uh, Mark Morris. And uh, we have a very uh, stalwart, Tony Longworth giving his all. <laughs> Sally is P. Winklemeyer. I would say no. <laughs> uh, but no, Mark did a, a splendid job trying to sound 25 years younger. <laughs> yeah, I, I sort of sound, sound like that these days. And God, that's not very much like Tur, is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to be energetic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then, then, funny, if I was, what, 25, 26 when I played Tur? If you're a bloke, you don't, you, your, your hormones, you, you, you don't fully grow up until your early 30s, right? Your body keeps changing, right? And you become a thicker set, okay? And you, similarly, you don't acquire your voice until you're sort of 32 or 33. You haven't got that timbre that a man's got. Uh, so, yeah, I do find it quite hard to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've, just, I've just done a few appearances with Peter Davidson. Uh, we did Sydney and Melbourne and uh, Wellington and Christchurch in New Zealand. And um, Peter and I are sort of like, we both now wear those little reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're becoming like twins. <laughs> like, 